Beauty, huh? It's dependable, long lasting too. Yeah, I could really use this Silverado. I'm a big hunter. Oh, what do you hunt? Deer, fish. Fantastic. This holiday, Chevy's giving more. Now, combine the All-Star Edition discount with other offers for a total value of $6,500. Or qualified buyers can get 0% APR financing for 72 months. See your high country Chevy dealers. Welcome to this week's edition of the WT Coaches Show. I'm your host, Kelton Weens, and we are here with head volleyball coach Jason Scoach after a tough loss in the regional tournament. Now, Coach, you opened up the tournament mm. with a four-set victory over Arkansas-Fort Smith. Why don't you tell us about that game? Um, <clears throat> you know, we, we played okay. We played um, when you win 25-16, and then um, you're up 2-0, and then you lose um, by them getting five of the last eight points as unforced errors. Um, you know the girls, be it nerves or whatever, we didn't play our best. But then we came back and won 25-16. So, um, you know, it's we got to start acting like we've been there before. I, I think the girls played too nervous. And um, the, only, the only painful part about that match was we had to expend too much energy um, to win that. And when, when you're going in as sort of, even though we're the three seed, we knew Washburn and Central were the top two teams. You need, to, you need to have as much energy saved for those two teams. And so that was the only painful part about that match. But Fort Smith is an extremely underrated team, and so um, it was a good victory. Now, you ended your season on Friday with a loss to Washburn University. Can you break that one down for us? You know, they, uh, that's probably the best. I had multiple people tell me that was the best they've seen Washburn play all year. So um, there's really no shame in losing to a team that out volleyballs you like that. I do believe that, you know, on, on, on a a team note that some kids really roasted the occasion, did good. I, I really felt that that match should have been pushed to four to five sets. Um, just some things that worked for us all year were not. Um, but they're an explosive team. Uh, the one thing that the girls need to take from that is that's the difference when you have seniors. You know, they, um, number uh, 15 in the middle who tore us up, in the finals, she broke her leg. And I don't know how, but she had to be carted off in a wheelchair. And um, Washburn found a way of fighting back and, and making a, a very good competitive championship match. And I, I just don't, I believe in the senior. So um, we, we just faced a team that was a little bit more athletic than us. But the biggest thing is, is they had kids that were going to win at all costs. And um, honestly, that's the difference. We had a good team this year, but um, I don't think we had that, that edge. It only comes with um, experience. Now, Coach, you talked about seniors. We only lose one this year. That's mm -hmm. Erica Dupree. What has she meant to this team this season? Well, Erica's always been a team player. And so, um, you know, last year she was first team all-conference and she was a preseason setter of the year. And we decided to make some team changes in personnel. And instead of bringing someone else in, because we like this team, um, we asked her to uh, move to the middle. And, um, and the, reason, the, the, the reason was we didn't want to disrupt the chemistry on the team. There was a good chemistry with, within the girls, and so we weren't sure if we brought someone else in, a D1 transfer or a JUCO transfer, what they would do to that. And so Erica agreed, and um, I think she's benefited for it. She, you know, she only got honorable mention, but we all know that we weren't going to win without her. And, and she's just, um, she's just good for chemistry. She's, I don't know, she's just a, I really don't know how to describe her, but she does the intangibles that you don't think are important till you lose someone like that. So. I was happy for her to finish on such a good note. Now, Coach, you mentioned transfers. Sarah Martin and Lacey Hayes, just a couple of transfers for you this season. Uh, and they stepped in and filled their roles beautifully. What do you like about Berkhurst? Sarah, we told Sarah about three or four weeks ago, we're starting to see what we signed up for. Um, Sarah started coming in more with just an urgency and at the end. and um, She was brought in for her offense, but um, we needed her to give a little bit more on the defensive end, and which she did. And so, um, Sarah has uh, basically what we call terminal power, and so we have some other kids that are a little bit better than her as far as the skill and execution, but the ball's dug too much because they just don't have the pace and the trajectory that she has, and so she brings that, and um, that's very helpful. Uh, you know, Lacey, in the heat of the game, she sets a very hittable ball for the players, 
And so, you know, for over half the year, we hit over 300 as a team, which is extremely rare. Um, and we have the same hitters as last year. And in fact, we have in Erica a lesser offensive middle than the one we had last year. And so that's due to the setter um, helping the hitters more this year. So she made, we looked at it as she made average hitters be above average. Now, my last question, Coach, is a season of up and downs like most of them are. You only had three losses. But what do you take out of this season that you'll bring back next season? Well, you know, the girls don't like this, but the, the, the chemistry on this year's team was, um, you know, exceptional. And the girls always talked about it, how they were having so much fun, and they just enjoyed it. And I felt this year that um, – we had to remind them a little too much about the competing side. And so the task for the girls, which we'll talk about in our uh, end of year meetings soon, is okay, how can we keep the chemistry and the fun, but be a little bit more edgy with competitiveness? And so, but again, I, I'll take this any day. I mean, it was fun, and the girls had a good time, and they're going to have good memories. But can we do that and, and move it to the next level and try to win a national title? Well, thank you very much for joining us, Coach. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll, we'll see you again next season. This is the final installment of the WT Coaches Show with Lady Buff Volleyball. For more information, please visit GoBuffsGo.com. For the WT Sports Network, I'm Kelton Williams.